Okay, we are back working on those glow plugs again. Um, here again, this is the old style glow plug. This is the new style glow plug. And one thing I did notice is that up here, this part is the same between the two glow plugs, but the heater element on the new one is skinnier than the old one. And that's kind of the area that's supposed to get reamed out, um, get rid of the old carbon that's kind of gunked it up before you replace the glow plugs. Uh, so what I did was I figured, you know, that's not really a, uh, a critical dimension, but I measured it here with my little micrometer calipers. And uh, uh, I was at the auto parts store anyways, getting something else. And I saw they had uh, screw extractor kits. And I thought, gosh, you know, all these uh, reamers for glow plugs that I see, they really do just look like a, a screw extractor and then kind of a connection like this to tighten it down. I thought, what are the odds of just a regular screw ex extractor fitting? So I bought this because I didn't have a screw extractor set anyways. And sure enough, the width of this uh, number five extractor uh, matches up pretty nicely with, uh, it's actually a little tiny bit bigger than this, but that's okay. That's the size you need for the hole. So let's take a look at running this into the engine block. So right here we have one of the holes for the glow plugs. Now I've already cleaned it out, but I'm going to show you what I did. Basically all I did was I took the screw extractor and I put it straight in. And it, you know, it's not touching any of the, uh, the threads that the glow plug goes into or anything. And that middle part is, uh, it's just straight. It's just smooth bore. So I put that in there. And then I uh, turned it to the left, figuring that, you know, that's the direction to help extract all the carbon. So I rotated it to the left. And on, and you can see here it goes in fairly far because this one's already cleaned out. Um, but when I started doing this, um, it wasn't so easy. It was pretty carboned up. So one thing I noticed was the end of the extractor is actually the same size as the, uh, the end of a socket set. So I had a... Uh, one of those little connectors, it's a socket to a male Allen wrench. So I put that onto the extractor. And then that happens to be a number 10. So I just took a number 10 socket and put that on there. And then put the socket wrench on that. So now I have a way of driving that extractor and putting a little bit of pressure on there put the whole thing in, give it a little push, and turn it to the left. And that seemed to work really well for uh, cleaning all that carbon out. So here's a view as best I can get it looking um, pretty much straight down that uh, glow plug hole. It's reamed out pretty good. It's uh, pretty nice and clean. I also took a little pick and a hook. And after reaming that out, I just used a little compressed air to uh, get the carbon dust out. So it looks like I'm ready to install the new glow plugs. I put a little bit of anti-seize on there. And then this just goes right in the glow plug hole here. And uh, hand threads in real easy. But uh-oh, uh something weird is going on. It doesn't feel like it's going to thread in all the way. And that kind of freaked me out at first. But then I compared one of the... Uh, uh, one of the old ones to one of the new ones, and I realized the length of the thread is different. So if we look here, it almost looks like it's not threaded in all the way. You know, it looks like it should go further, but there just aren't any more threads. So let's take a look at one of the original glow plugs again. Now, if we compare the old and the new, there is a slight difference. Even though the threads start at the same spot, they don't extend down as far on the new plugs as they do on the old ones. So, and actually even looking at these, it looks like these should be out a little further for the electrical connections. So the thing is, this just doesn't look like it threads in quite as far as this. So this part is not going to go all the way tight to the engine block. It's going to stick out just a little bit. So here I've got all four of the new glow plugs in. They don't go quite tight to the uh, engine block. Uh, they are threaded all the way in. They are snug. Um, I just hand threaded them in all the way and then took, uh, took a 22 millimeter wrench and just snugged them down that last little bit. 
So now they need their electrical connections. And again, that's just going to be using, uh, taking these little tiny nuts off the end, uh, which use an eight millimeter wrench and putting the electric wires between them and then putting that, putting that nut back on again. So each of these is now going to get connected together with uh, a short wire with a ring terminal on either end. Um, on this end, remember originally it went to this ground strap. We're not going to use that now because each glow plug itself is grounded to the engine block. Actually, if we connected that onto there, we'd get a 12 volt short circuit, which would be really bad. But I've just got uh, all these little straps, one to the next to the next. And then this will be the last one. Um, I've got them routed down so they're out of the way. And I've already got those on there and I'll tighten down those nuts. But first, gotta get this last one on. And so this is just gonna go from here to here. And then my 12 volt source power is gonna be coming into here. And I'm not gonna have anything hooked up yet because I don't have the uh, 40 amp relay and everything else that I need yet. I just tightened those four connections down, and actually the last one I did find this uh, purple wire, which uh, looks like it went to the original uh, start glow plug control. So I just uh, put that on there so I've got a uh, place to run some electricity to when I do want to test this. Actually I could take a voltmeter in right now and uh, just check to make sure that it's got good continuity. Um, but that's about it for upgrading those uh, glow plugs. So now I can put those fuel hard lines back on.